Okay, so good afternoon to all and welcome to lecture number two. And today we'll start the first chapter of control system. And this chapter is introduction about the control system. So what is the prerequisite for understanding the this subject? So for understanding classical control theory, you need to have the knowledge of differential equations, Laplace transforms, basic physics, ordinary and semi-log graph papers, and so on. This differential equation is required because you know that uh, in a control system, higher order control system, when you do the mathematical modeling of higher order control system, what is by mathematical modeling? We are going to study that one in our third chapter. Okay. So basically you have the physical model and from that physical model, when you obtain the mathematical model to investigate the stability of a control system, this mathematical model of higher order uh, system contains higher order differential equation. Okay. Or sometimes it may be integral differential equation. Some, some terms are integration, some terms are uh, derivatives and so on. So knowledge of differential equation is very, very essential for understanding this subject. Now, like for example, higher order differential equation, solving this higher order differential equation in its original form is very, very difficult because you know that um, solving the differential equation of higher order like as third order or fourth order is really challenging or difficult for the undergraduate students and so on. So what we have to do, we have to take the Laplace transform of that higher order differential equation. And this Laplace transform basically represents uh, this differential equation or integral differential equation uh, in the form of uh, simple uh, algebraic equation, right? So uh, this algebraic, solving the algebraic equation is easy as compared to solving the differential equation, right? So that's why knowledge of Laplace transform is very, very, uh, or highly essential for understanding the control system. Then third thing, the basic physics, see that uh, the knowledge of basic physics for obtaining the mathematical model of physical control system is very, very important. And from that, we can investigate uh, the stability of a control system. So differential equation, Laplace transform, and basic physics. And then uh, when you investigate the stability in a frequency domain, at that time, you have to plot the graph on, uh, okay, uh, when you are uh, okay solving the problem with uh, root locus, then you have to use the ordinary graph paper. But when you are solving the paper or when you are using a body plot, so for plotting the body plot, you have to use the similar graph paper. So uh, knowledge of similar graph paper is also essential uh, for classical control system. Okay, particularly uh, we are uh, okay in this subject. We will be dealing with the classical control system. But those who want to have the more knowledge of modern control theory and above, for them linear algebra and matrices are highly essential. Right. So this is the prerequisite. Uh, okay, uh, for understanding this control system subject. Okay, now question is that why this control system or why control system subject is important? Now, you if you look in your room, uh, there is a fan, right? So fan is a control system. Can we control the speed of the fan? Absolutely yes. We have a regulator. Okay, by changing the knob of regulator, we can change the uh, speed of the uh, this one fan. So fan is a control system. Okay, your tube is an on-off control system. So if you make the switch on, your tube will be uh, uh, blown, and if you make it off, it will be okay. It will not blow, and so on. Or even okay, uh, even if you take uh, iron, okay, electric iron, that is also a control system because you set the knob. Like for example, you'd like to have the ironing of silk. Uh, material, then you have to keep that knob on silk or if it is cotton, you have to keep it on cotton. So according to that, temperature will be adjusted. So your ion, electric ion is also a control system. Your television is a control system. Radio is your control system. Means, okay, even if you take the geyser, 
okay uh, it is also a control system because temperature will be controlled or if you have an ac in your room like if you set the temperature of that ac like uh, 25 degrees celsius then this ac will maintain the temperature of that room at a 25 degrees celsius above if, if it goes above it will make it on if it goes below it will make it off and so on so in our home itself there are several devices which uses the control system then if you take the vehicles whether it is a truck or whether it is a bus or whether it is a car or whether it is a uh, motorbike and so on everywhere control system is used okay or if you go to the uh, manufacturing industries in manufacturing industries also for controlling the parameter whether you want to control the parameter uh, okay or process industries like controlling the pressure controlling the temperature controlling the uh, flow of liquid or controlling the um, current uh, controlling the voltage and so on if several parameters are there that you have to control so whether it is an industry or okay uh, cnc that is uh, computer numerical control machine or your aeroplane or your bus or any kind of vehicle any kind of industry any kind of equipment or in your home also uh, everywhere control systems are essential so you have to control some kind of parameter or even your human body is it a control system yes absolutely it is a control system your human being is a control system otherwise if it is not controllable then human being will become a mad person or something like that uncontrollable person right so human being it's okay uh, himself or herself uh, is a control system that is closed loop control system and so on so uh, examples there are several examples around us where control uh, we are uh, controlling the parameter and for controlling any kind of parameter you need a system and that system is called as the control system for example uh, in a space vehicle uh, system you need a control system in the missile guided system you need a control system in robotic system in modern manufacturing industries in design of autopilot system or in computer numerical control uh, machines or design of cars trucks buses or uh, any kind of vehicle or controlling pressure, temperature, humidity, viscosity, and flow in a process industries everywhere you have to control one or more parameters. And for controlling that one or more parameters, you need a system, and that system is called as the control system. So around you, you'll find several uh basically examples of control system and that's why knowledge of this subject is very very essential for any engineer right so that's why this subject is very very important now what are the advantages of control system okay see that uh, with the help of optimal control system okay uh, you will get the optimal performance of any dynamic system like okay uh, wastage will be reduced okay productivity will be increased because you are not going to waste anything okay uh, like you might have seen that in some of the apartment uh, even lights will be okay during the night time lights uh, the light bulb will be on when that person is passing in that area if there is nobody is there then automatically that light will be um uh, switched off and so on even some of the street lights are also there like uh, uh, it is based on the um uh, this one uh, solar energy and then it will be made on during night time and automatically it will be off once there is a uh, light outside and so on so uh, automatic control system basically improves the productivity it will improve the accuracy uh, because uh, see that suppose for example if somebody is doing that thing manually okay uh, this person is doing uh, that thing manually or controlling some parameter manually but you know that a human being after working for one hour or two hour okay uh, he may get tired or then uh, um, his attention may not be uh, same uh, for every time and so on so he may commit the mistake at that time but since machine is there machine will never tire get tired and so on and uh, uh, Okay, so accuracy will be always equal whether that time is at 10 a.m. or whether that time is at 10 p.m. in the night. Accuracy remains same. So if to improve the accuracy uh, by using the automatic control system, uh, reduces the wastages. Since the uh, okay, all the parameters are controlled, and then 
it will minimize the wastage otherwise if it is uncontrolled it will increase the wastages and so on or reduce the drudgery of many routine repetitive manual operations as i told you that uh, if repetitive things are there and if human being is employed for controlling that one then definitely definitely that person will get tired or uh, he not he may not feel uh, every time to do the same work uh, and so on so to avoid that one repetitive work uh, this control systems can be used so the advantages are that we get the optimum performance of the system then production uh, productivity will be improved uh, in that system if it is automatically done uh, i'll tell you a simple example that okay uh, in dubai um uh, okay they were uh, this one you know that the oil industries are there oil wells are there in um, uh, gulf countries and so on so for investigating whether that there okay whether there will be any oil below that uh, uh, this one uh, rock or not so generally the engineers there uh, they uh, verify the uh, rock images and then at, okay uh, uh, from that rock images they can uh, predict whether there will be oil below that one or uh, there will not be any oil and so on now this can be done with the help of computer vision system automatically images will be recognized means images will be captured with the help of camera and then it will be analyzed by the computer vision system and then it will be um, decision will be given that there will be oil below that rock or not now earlier uh, with a human being system okay they were used to uh, do the inspection of the rock images like as 300 images or 400 images per day but but with the automatic control system uh, with a computer vision system uh, they can uh, do the investigation of 25000 images per day or uh, 30000 images per day means uh, 100 times uh, productivity has been improved and that too with the high accuracy so with improves accuracy reduces the vestiges and also uh, uh, release the drudgery of many routine repetitive manual operations and so on so these are there are several advantages of control system and that's why control system is employed uh, for atomization of the industry for atomization of any product and so on right now there are different definitions uh, before starting uh, the chapter we'll see uh, what is by system what is by control uh, then we'll combine the definition of control system what is by process and so on so see that system is nothing but the arrangement or uh, a combination of different physical components connected or related in such a manner so as to form the entire unit to attain the certain objective okay i'll give the example that in uh, your second year you might okay you were having one subject like as a communication system right and in that you have studied the block diagram of radio receiver so what was the first block of that radio receiver it was the antenna okay then okay um, uh, this antenna will give the signal to the rf amplifier okay after rf amplifier okay uh, there was basically a local oscillator and then if amplifier and then power amplifier and then output was given to the speaker and so on so this was the arrangement so that you can listen the program which was transmitted from the FM station or uh, amplitude modulated uh, station, AM station, and so on. Now, can we uh, rearrange, like for example, power amplifier, I'll take the, uh, in the place of RF amplifier, and then RF amplifier, I'll put at the power amplifier side? No. And this will not work, okay? Because, okay, it will not give the desired output. So you have to put all those blocks at uh, that place itself, and then and then you will get uh, the output. Uh, okay similarly like for example simple example that when you enter in the engineering college you have to basically complete the first year then you have to go to the second year then third year and then final year it's not like that okay you can go in a, go in a, and study in a class of directly final year and then you uh, at the end uh, last year no syllabus is designed such that knowledge of first year is essential for uh, studying the second year knowledge of second year is essential for understanding the concept in third year and knowledge of third year is essential uh, for understanding the concept in final year so all the blocks as are arranged in a system okay in a system all the blocks are arranged in a such a manner that will give the desired output so this whole uh, arrangement of different physical components connected together okay 
such a uh, in a such a manner you will get the desired output so that arrangement is called as the system okay so system is a arrangement of or a combination of different physical components so i'll say that antenna is one of the physical component then rf amplifier is second physical component if amplifier is th uh, third physical component local oscillator is fourth one then power amplifier and then uh, speaker so all those arrangement which is there in radio receiver okay is made such that you can listen the radio programs you cannot interchange uh, okay the component so we have to arrange uh, the um, component such that you will get the desired result so this arrangement is called as a system okay so system is an arrangement of or a combination of different physical components connected or related in a such manner so as to form an entire unit to attain the certain objective so in uh, radio receiver ob okay objective is to basically uh, receive the program which is sent or transmitted from the transmitter side then what in the control control means basically see that in my class if i okay um, i have control on my class means i can manage the class very well i can teach very well my students will not disturb and so on otherwise okay if i am teaching and then somebody is disturbing so the, okay there is no control and so on so basically to regulate to direct or to command a system so that you get the desired output or desired objective is attained or you might have studied uh, in second year voltage regulator that voltage regulator like you if you have designed a voltage regulator for 10 volt dc voltage regulator and if your input is basically like as a 25 volt or 50 volt still you should get the output as a 10 volt it's not like that if input is varying your output is also varying no even if there is a change in input voltage your output voltage should remain constant that is equal to 10 volt because you have designed a voltage regulator for 10 volt or even if there is a change in load current like for example if load resistance is changed your output should not change output voltage should not change or even if there is change in temperature since you are using the uh, semiconductor material for designing uh, this one uh, uh, for designing a regulator so with the change in temperature output voltage should not change so that uh, system is called as a uh, control system basically which can command which can regulate and which can maintain the desired output uh, okay as per our objective so ss uh, control system means control means it is it means to regulate to direct or command a system so that desired objective is attained right i hope that you have understood the difference between the system and control system is the arrangement such that uh, different uh, different physical components so that you get the desired output and control means basically you have to regulate it you have to direct it or you have to command it so that you'll get the uh, desired output or um, uh, objective uh, is attended and so on right now if you combine these two definitions together so you'll get the control system that is system plus control so what is this one it is an arrangement of a different physical element. So this is the arrangement of different physical element connected in such a manner so as to regulate, direct, okay, or command itself to achieve the certain objective. So in a control system, there is a physical arrangement of different physical component such that okay you can control the parameter you can regulate the parameter you can direct the things or you can command like for example in robotics you need a command system and so on to achieve the certain objective right so objective in every product is different like for example objective in uh, air condition is that to maintain the temperature so whenever temperature is higher your air condition should be on when whenever temperature is lower your air condition should be off so it should maintain the desired temperature like as a 24 degrees celsius or 23 degrees or whatever you have set with your remote and so on so according to that one uh, uh, your air condition will maintain the temperature so control system is basically an arrangement of different physical elements connected in a such a manner so as to regulate direct or command itself to achieve the certain objective right then what is the process okay 
because we are going to use the various terms like as a process then control control system and so on so you know that uh, uh, in the industry okay uh, some of the products are manufactured like for example if you take the car manufacturing industry okay so in car manufacturing industry it starts with the chassis then different assembly will be done like for example wheels then then wheels will be fixed then after that steering will be fixed then after that in next stage uh, um, uh, engine will be fixed and so on so like that whatever is the process that will be followed and at the end okay after coloring that car okay you will get the finished product of the car so at last stage uh, you get the finished product so at the first stage you get the raw material okay and then um, uh, on that uh, raw material or chassis you are going to attach all those things and then finally you'll get the uh, desired car and so on so this line layout means basically after uh, getting the first uh, at the first stage you have only chassis then you will be fixing the in second stage just you will be fixing the wheels then after um, that will be sent to the third stage which will fix the engine then after that steering and then so on so uh, whatever is there so there are suppose for example 10 to 20 different stages are there so car this from car will move from raw material to finished product so this is the line layout so it starts from okay raw and it uh, ends with the finished product so uh, this is called as the process basically the plant the device or plant or a system under control basically the input and output relationship represents a cause and effect relationship of the process or you might have seen uh, this one um, uh, like boilers are there like uh, in a thermal power station or even if you go to the sugar industries there are boilers so what is the uh, basically uh, um, uh, job of boiler to keep, okay, keep the temperature of that uh, liquid or okay whatever is there uh, to uh, certain degree Celsius or like that. So to maintain that temperature is very very important in boiler and uh, this is done like for example if you are using the electronic uh, control system or electrical control system then you have to pass that current through the coil which will maintain the temperature so how much current should be passed and then when it should be on when it should be off uh, then when it should be regulated and so this will be done automatically so this this is called the process basically the or the entire plant itself is a process the device or a plant or a system under control so this is system under control process is nothing but the device or a plant or a system under control and the in uh, which has the input and the output and there is a relationship between the input and output and which is also called as the cause and effect uh, relationship of the process and so on right now uh, controlled variable means what see that like for example uh, uh i would like to temp uh, okay uh, control the temperature of the room so output will be the temperature so output uh, uh, variable is called as the control variable so in my room definitely now 23 degrees celsius is maintained so temperature is the output variable is called as the control variable so it is a quantity or a condition that is measured and controlled so temperature is measured and it is control so output variable generally it is called as the control so normally control variable is the output of the system right now in case of uh, this one uh, temperature uh, temperature will be the output variable now like for example in the case of uh, this one pressure so uh, output is that okay you have to control the uh, pressure of uh, pressure of liquid through the pipe and so on so you definitely you have to measure the pressure and then output will be the pressure so your controlled variable will be the pressure so whatever you are going to control what kind of parameter you are going to control that parameter is called as the controlled variable so in a case of temperature control temperature will be the controlled variable in case of pressure control pressure will be the uh, control variable you like to okay uh, control the humidity of the room or humidity of, of that place so humidity will be the control variable so the output variable which you like to control is called as a controlled variable okay then manipulated variable means what so it is the quantity of the condition that is varied by the controller so as to affect the value of controlled variable like for example you are maintaining the uh, temperature of boiler now output is temperature of the boiler okay so control variable will be the temperature right 
of the boiler. But now this temperature is controlled through the electric uh, winding, like as an electric coil or electrical, uh, uh, this one uh, temperature uh, system is there. So you are passing the current through that coil. So this current, basically, how much, you see, if you increase the current, temperature will increase. If you reduce the current, temperature will be reduced. So this is called as the manual manipulated variable. It means basically uh, uh, the variable, which is, uh, is the quantity of the condition that is varied by the controller. So uh, current is, okay, if you increase the current, your output will uh, temperature will increase if you reduce the current output temperature will be reduced so current itself is called as a manipulated variable because we are manipulating the current so that you will get the output desired output of temperature right so uh, controlled variable is temperature in case of boiler and manipulated variable is the current passing through that coil which is maintaining the temperature of that uh, boiler right so now uh, and then Control, control means measuring the value of control variable of the system and applying the manipulated variable to the system to correct or limit the deviation of the measured value from the desired value, right? Now, uh, see, uh, what is by disturbance? See that, see, this is the system, like for example, I have shown you an open loop control system and here uh, you are giving the input and then there will be a controller and then there is a process and then there is the output so i'll take the boiler example now in a case of boiler so a boiler is nothing but the process now to measure the temperature or basically control the temperature of boiler you need a um, uh, this one uh, controller which will control the uh, current uh, passing through the coil and then this current is nothing but a um, uh, controlled current is nothing but the manipulated variable so your input is basically here um, uh, okay uh, your output is basically uh, output is controlled variable and here uh, for this process input is manipulated variable this is the output of basically controller controller uh, basically controls this manipulated variable and which gives basically this depends upon the set point or input or this one like for example uh, if input uh, we have said that okay the boiler temperature should be uh, 200 degrees celsius now set point is 200 degrees celsius okay so according to that one uh, controller will control the uh, parameter and then this manipulated variable will be given as an input to the process that is boiler uh, and then boiler temperature will be maintained to 200 degrees Celsius but uh, in between that there may be some internal disturbances which may add a noise in that so disturbance is a a disturbance is a signal that tends to adversely affect the value of the system like for example uh, in a speech if there is a disturbance then you will not be able to listen the speech correctly right so that noise uh, okay uh, degenerates or basically noise um, uh, reduces the quality of the output and so on so uh, noise is uh, considered as a disturbance or any other signal which is unwanted signal uh, if it get mixed with the wanted signal, then that uh, uh, the quality of the wanted signal will be reduced. So a disturbance is a signal that tends to adversely affect the value of the system, and it is unwanted input of the system. So this in okay disturbance may be external disturbance may be there, or there may be internal disturbance which is generated from the uh, different devices or components. So if the disturbance is generated within the system, it is called as the internal disturbance. Like for example, disturbance generated within the process or disturbance generated within the controller is called as the internal disturbance. And if the disturbance generated outside that is external, then it is called as the external uh, disturbance, okay? Or outside disturbance or so on, right? So I hope that you have understood the different definitions like as what is by system, okay? Going by control and then control system, then process, then controlled variable, manipulated variable, and then disturbances in that disturbances, internal disturbance, and external disturbance, and so on. Okay, now we'll study what is by control system. So, basically, a system controlling the operation of another system, like okay, you have a system which is okay, controlling the operation of other system or plant or process is called a system that can regulate itself okay and another system 
is called as the control system or a control system is a device or a set of device to manage command direct or regulate the behavior of other devices or other processes or other systems okay so a control system is a device or a set of devices maybe sometime you have to do the uh, like controlling simultaneously temperature you have to control you have to control the in industry process industry you have to control the temperature you have to control the pressure you have to control the fluid flow and uh, so on so several parameters you have to control so you have to use the uh, not single input single output but you have to use the multi input multi output system of controller so maybe uh, you you have to use the multiple controllers in that so a control system is device or a set of device means multiple devices multiple controllers are there to manage command direct or regulate the behavior of other devices or systems so whole uh, thing is called as the control system now uh, if you see the history of this control system uh, it's not like that okay it is a new field or uh, this one since 18th century uh, you might have heard the first uh, control system was a james watt centrifugal governor uh, okay this was used for uh, speed control of the steam engine so for speed control of the steam engine james watt used the centrifugal uh, governor so that is also a control system then in 1920s Okay, Minoski worked on the automatic controllers for steering the ships. So in the ship, for steering the ships in right direction, uh, Minoski worked on the automatic controllers. Then in 1930s, Nyquist, okay, developed the method for analyzing the stability of a control system. So how to design more stable control, which will give you correct output always. It's not like that, okay, one time it is giving the output. So at any time, you will get the correct output so your stability of that system should be good and for doing the analysis of that stability uh, in 1930s uh, nyquist developed a method that is nyquist criteria for uh, analyzing the stability of a control system uh, then in 1940s frequency response methods made it possible to design the linear closed loop control system uh, that was the development in 1940s means uh, frequency domain methods were investigated uh, for finding the stability of a control system and then um, we can design a better control system in 1950s uh, okay root locus method was uh, developed by evans uh, fully to investigate the stability so there are several methods available for investigating the stability of a control systems and these were developed uh, like this uh, then in 1960s stress space model method or optimum control or adaptive control was developed and then in 1980s learning controls uh, are begun to investigate it and develop and presently okay uh, sophisticated control systems are there fuzzy logic controllers are there and then automatic controls okay modern control theory are there so present and ongoing research field this is okay researchers are working on uh, developing the okay very highly sophisticated control systems and recent application of modern control theory includes such as non engineering systems such as a biological or biomedical or economic or socio economic and so on so like that way uh, if you look at the history uh, uh, this control system has been developed from 18 century still today people are working on uh, this one now uh, the type of control system so i think we will stop here uh, in today's lecture and in tomorrow's lecture we will continue with uh, what are the different types of control system like as a what is by open loop control system what is by closed loop control system then linear control system non linear control system time varying control system time invariant control system then single input single output control system and multi input multi output control system so all those things we will study in our tomorrow's lecture so today we'll stop here thank you very much and if you have any doubt i'll be happy to answer your questions please